this is uh, this is from a, a book of advice to ladies by one Robert Dubois. All right, and I'm going to give you three selections. Would you regarding the bosom, regarding the mouth, and concerning the exposure of the flesh. Ooh. So, <clears throat> regarding the bosom. Be careful not to let your breast be felt fondled or caressed by any hands save those that ought. For true it is, when one first thought of fashioning the clothing clasp, it was to keep man's lustful grasp from woman's breast, which should be known to husband's hands and his alone. Therefore, one made the tunic pin to keep hands out and bosom in. <laughs> Okay, regarding the mouth. You suitors all take this advice, but as to ladies, please think twice. When ladies' lips are freely kissed, the rest of her cannot resist. Ah, oh, a kiss can lead to so much more. Soon she begins to hunger for kiss after kiss, and then she will not cease her sport indeed until she finds some place in which she may proceed to give the rest away. And finally, concerning the exposure of the flesh. A lady errs in truth if she displays her flesh immodestly in any but her husband's sight. Some, oh, who would show how fair and white their breasts go almost bosom bare for one and all, while some take care to leave the side exposed and show some flesh above, some flesh below. Still others think that thigh and knee are there for all the world to see and show beneath a hem held high more than is meant to see, meet the eye. She who delights in bold undress commits an act of wickedness. White neck and throat, white hands and face, these parts give promise of the grace that lies beneath the gown concealed, and they may freely be revealed without reproof. But be it known, these are the most that may be shown. 